Hello everybody, um, in this video we are going to uh, show you about collages. Picasso is great and powerful and um, very versatile and scalable collage tool where you can make lots of fun projects and have lots of creativity um, using this tool. This is definitely one of my favorite tools. Uh, so you'll notice down at the bottom you have an icon for the collage right down there. So um, first step what you want to do is you want to choose the photos that you want to have in your collage. Okay, you can always make these changes, all right, what, what photos you have, you can add more, you can take them out, so don't feel like you're committing to anything too hard initially. So let's just go ahead and choose some photos, and I'm going to choose maybe about seven or eight from this folder I have here. So these are some pictures from Africa, so I'm going to go ahead and pick one here. I'm going to hold down my control key. If you're on a Mac, you hold down the command key. So you're going to go ahead and choose this guy choose them, choose this one, maybe this one, and then one more. So then you'll also see down in the lower left what I have chosen. I remember this is my selection tray down there. So I have six. I want to go ahead and choose one more. I don't know how about that one. Okay, very good. So now that I have these selected, I'm going to come down to my collage icon, click on collage, and you'll see right away my window changes and I have um, a collage all put together. Now let's go ahead and look on the left hand side and you'll see you have two tabs. One says settings and one says clips. Settings, you'll see here it says picture pile looks like a pile of scattered pictures with a little drop down next to it, meaning that this is only just one type of um, collage that I can choose from and I have picture pile, mosaic, frame mosaic, grid, contact sheet, and multiple exposure. So we're going to be talking about all those briefly um, as we move through this tutorial. So I'm going to click out of this just to come to here. And um, you'll see I have picture pile, and then beneath it I have picture borders. Now if I move my mouse over each of these, it tells me what different types of borders I'll get if I click on it. Click the picture, just the picture without a border, which is what I have right now. Then I can also add borders to each of them. See when I did that, now I get this nice old-fashioned border like they used to do around each of my pictures and this will be like more of a Polaroid picture for each of them so depending on what look you're looking for you can go ahead and choose you want so I'm gonna go ahead and maybe just choose the ones with the borders around them okay and I'm moving down here you see I have background options now you're gonna see some of these are actually gonna be consistent all throughout including this background options so I can either choose a solid color or I can use an image to be the background right now my background is just white see that and it's my solid color, but I can change the color of the background by clicking on it and then notice I get a palette, a swatch of colors and watch what happens when I take my little eyedropper and I move it around and just like that I can change the color to whatever I want. When I want to commit to it I just click my mouse and then there it is. Click it again and I can choose any of these colors as well. Okay, now one of the nice things about this tool is that not only can I choose the colors from the swatch here, swatches, but I can also take my eyedropper and move it over to the picture itself. See what I'm doing here? And I can grab a color from a photo. So how about this beautiful yellow here? If I want that to be my backdrop, or maybe the green, okay, or maybe the blue from the bus. If I want to match it up perfectly, all I need to do is just move my, my mouse or my eyedropper over it, and then I get that color. Very, very nice. Okay, then we also have our page format, meaning you know essentially what size you're going to be printing it on. So you have, uh, excuse me, what size paper you're going to be printing it on. So you see here, just really it's going to depend on, on whatever size you want to print it on. And again, this is going to be consistent um, with all the other types of um, with uh, collages as well. Okay, then I also have um, this thing called draw shadows. Okay, so if I take it away, you'll notice very subtly around the edge of the pictures. Let me just move this here. All right. See that you can see that there's a little bit of a shadow, so it kind of looks like it's a little more three-dimensional, like it's like it's actually um, raised above. Okay, so um, I'm gonna actually keep the shadows. I like those. All right, and then the captions. That's only if I have captions on these pictures, which I don't. Okay, so it's not gonna really matter for me either way. Okay. Now you'll also notice before, just a few seconds ago, I moved these around. All right, so the picture pile is probably the most versatile because you can really put the pictures wherever you want and you can also resize them however you want. Okay, so now I'm just moving them around 
and I can decide, all right, how do I want them? Okay, so if I want this Africa picture smack in the middle, I can have that one smack in the middle. All right, so that's moving it. Now I can also resize. So if you remember how we resize when we were working with the text, okay, you're gonna come over to the outside of this circle and you see a little red and white circle and I can click, drag, and then move it around and then it gets as big as I need it to be, right? Especially if you have good resolution. And then I can keep it slanted and I can also rotate it. See that I'm just moving my mouse, rotating the picture however I want to. See that? I can also move this around, I can move this around. You know, and you can get a really cool looking collage there. Okay? And you'll also notice that this picture, for example, the one I'm shaking my mouse over with the van, with the matatu, um, is underneath here. Okay, so I want to actually bring that up above. So all I need to do is right click on the picture. And if you're on a Mac, if you don't have right click, you do um, control click. And you'll see a little shortcut menu comes up. And I'm going to say move to top. And now that's above. Okay, and then I can make this one smaller. I can do whatever I want with it. Okay, I can move this one over. You know, so you can really just kind of play around with it until you, until you get it. And you'll also notice down here at the bottom, I can scramble the collage, right? So it moves it around. I can shuffle the pictures. So basically what the shuffling does, it keeps the same layout for the same size, but it take, puts the pictures in a different order, okay? Also a very, very neat tool. Okay, so you have your scramble the collage, so it moves everything around, and then you have to shuffle the pictures where it basically moves the pictures around, keeping the same layout. Now, I also have the ability to still edit the picture if I want to. So how about this beautiful picture here? Let's say I want to maybe lighten this up and then make it black and white. I select the picture and you'll notice when I select it I get this um, orange border around it meaning that it's selected now and I click on view and edit and what it does it takes me back to my library and for this picture's uh, particular um, you know dark room so to speak and I can just go ahead and do what I want to it right so then I can maybe bring it up a little bit a little more tuning right just like that and I can make it black and white just like that and then when I'm done you'll notice now I have this new tab up here called collage and I go back there and look lo and behold is my picture okay just like I created it now I could always undo so don't worry about that if I decide to undo it, I don't like it I go back to view and edit it remembers the last thing I did I click undo and then I click undo again and then I go back to my collage, and there it is. Okay, so um, that's that part with the view and edit. Now, let's say, for example, I want one of these pictures to be my background. You'll notice here I have set as background. I can click this guy, and then instead of, um, this is the same thing as using image, instead of a color now, I'm gonna have this picture as the background of my collage. How cool is that? can really have just many, many layers on top of it. Okay, and then I can also switch back to the color if I want to as well. <clears throat> okay, so then I can also remove a picture if I want to, select it, click remove, and it'll be removed. Okay?